Is anybody out there fucking with me? Is this right here, yeah, this right, this is my shit? And I've been on ice too long, tell them play my shit. Hey yo, Enojin got his ass whooped! Yo, don't mind the uh the voice quality. I'm not using my mic today. Uh, somebody else is boring it. So right now we're using the mic on the device. And um, let's see, next week, well not next week. I got some two weeks. I can easily I got to see to get a new phone, a new camera. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. I really need a new phone. But you know, maybe I might just have to chalk it up and get a new camera. Uh, all bills are paid, by the way. Yeah, I'll show y'all. You know, this that D, this the DC shit. This the Marvel shit right here. They're all uh, figurines. They're not fucking toys. Um, and they're made out of 100% die cast metal. So right now, we don't got a lot of time here. I know you've been away for a minute, been away for a while. You got the video yesterday. And if you have not subscribed to my second channel, which a lot of more content will be posted on, link in the description below. If you're already here in VGA or Mazako Kami here, just thanks for supporting. Enojin Oba. Fuck God. It's certain niggas I can't hang around my squad in real life, dog. Cause you gotta know how to fucking fight. This nigga got his ass whooped. Damn, a, a fucking stick. They didn't even say like at least so like don't know how to do punching sound effects. Was like psh, 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 psh. no, this nigga got whackums. This nigga, my nigga came up pointy with the yeah, you know I mean it just it, it just whacked the shit out of me. Oh, it's a power pole and shit. Yeah, but uh, first off, very well-paced episode. Um, the matches were fast, but I didn't feel like they were rushed. I feel like, you know how Naruto, original Naruto, would be like 30 seconds, but they dragged that shit off to like three episodes. I feel like these fights were made and presented in real time, the actual time. Sawada legit beat the bitch up in three seconds. Berto cheated his way, so until Berto stopped cheating, I'm not going to talk about his fights. In the fortune next next episode is you know him fighting again and we all know how that ends. You seen the Birds Home movie or even read the manga. This nigga's cheating his way to the top, so fuck this match. Miski let out some sage in the energy by accident and Sink Sinski I said Sinski. It's Shinky, right? Garus adopted son. Cause he can't have kids because he doesn't have sperm cells. Yeah, Shinky noticed that he had out sage mode. So one thing I did like in this episode was um Watching Shinky, Shin, Shinky, fuck, Shinky kind of observe his competition and kind of see what he was getting himself into. Because it brought me back to the original Tunian exams when this girl looking at Naruto, looking at Neji, looking at Sasuke, looking at potential threats that he may have to face in this tournament. So it was like, oh shit, like father, like son. Well, not really, but no, no, I get no, it's, it's your preference. It ain't his blood, so I'm gonna give a fuck. So Shinky kind of observing the competition, saying he really gotta look out for Miski. Burrito and shit like that. Burrito cheating. Miski uh, completely. I think his name is Tori or some shit like that. He whooped his ass. But one thing that I did like about Fat Ass Homeboy is that, you know, he, he as a getting right now, he's using lightning style. Like the lightning is chakra around his body to move faster. So he kind of got the gist of it and it kind of gave me um, Killer B slash A vibes. Because that's what they use their lightning, you know, struck for it. They surround their bodies with it, and it makes them super fast and super strong. And, you know, he is already fat as shit, so he's probably strong as shit, and it is making him faster. So I would like to see, like, you know, when he do a little time skip, let's see where he end up. Because it's nice to see that traits from the older generation being passed down, and this is the beginning stages of it. So I actually really appreciate that. That was pretty cool. That was solid to me. So, you know, he got his ass whooped. You know, Miss had to get up in his ass. Homeboy did his thing. Homeboy did. I can't. I can't hate on the nigga. Who else for? Okay, I already talked about Sawada being a bitch up in uh, three seconds. I already talked about Shikada's match. Oh yeah, no, I didn't. No, Shikada for um the um first off. I didn't think a Cell Ninja can originate from this sand village. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they obtained that. I, I, I could have sworn to worship Mara gave the Sound Ninja there. I don't know. I don't really know how to react to that part. I'm not sure if that's genetics or is maybe some ninjas get lucky and hair, hair sound. Ha ha, and it gets like that. By the way, you see the quality deteriorating. 
it's like eight o'clock. Some some of this light shouldn't even be out here. So I kind of really should have presented this early, but you know what I mean. At the work, I came here and I was bull up and all day. So this one's on me. I can't even blame. This is this is completely on my Zaku. So yeah, uh, the the sound here, bitch, and she. I, I don't know what to think about. It. I mean, I liked it. It was a good visual to see, but it's like how and why. I don't know, but I already knew Sakata was gonna whoop her ass, and it was a little different seeing Sakata start off a battle using the offensive, you know, the offensive, you know, side first. And I always see him on the defensive because he's more of a counter fighter than an aggressive one. And it's nice to see that um we got um before Inoji got his ass licked and Chocho kind of say haha now Shikada gets to see how it feels like to be in our shoes because they would like the divergence and Shikada would catch you know the bait or, and at the last second because you know she could show formation so this is a little bit new to me so yeah, yeah he did his thing I didn't really like his match it was I don't know I just felt like it was like one of those John Cena matches where you kind of lose an entire match and then oh shit you know five moves of doom and a two adjustment one two three that's what I felt like that match was. But the episode itself was good. The matches was okay though. I just like that it was fast paced. And they're getting to the fucking point. I don't want this shit to drag on. Get to Momoshiki. Yeah, get, get to that. That's what I'm waiting for. We like two episodes away. Actually. This shit might happen next episode. That's Shikata versus Boruto. So either next episode or two weeks from now. So two weeks from now it's Thursday, so you know that's when I, I get paid on Thursday. So y'all might even get like the next, you know, when that shit happens when you were shaking and all the niggas come like, yo, what's up, Mob Deep, what's up? I might have a new camera by then. So you know, y'all might get a little bit of quality. And I gotta get some camera lights. That's what I gotta invest in. If I can just get camera lights, then then we on we on set trip. We got it. So as far as this episode, um ranking, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's, it wasn't a crazy good episode. I'm not going to suck the episode's cock. Like some of the reviews. All because I left for, for a little while. Don't mean I'm going to come back and start sucking y'all dick. Nah. Nah, the anime's alright. I mean, it's nice it's getting back to the real shit. But first off, I got to get props to my nigga. And this is for the last previous episodes. I got to get props to my nigga, Yoroshiki. This nigga is walking into the fades. And handling shit. And leaving. This nigga walked into Toneri. Faded him. Walked in the guard, faded it. This nigga's the boss. That's how you introduce new characters. So, those last couple episodes, my nigga Yoshiki was doing his thing. And, you know, one thing he did, that, uh, I did like, I did acknowledge that Yoshiki, that, you know, Kenshiki and Momoshiki are Yoshiki's superiors. But this nigga, the one walking around like the boss, like, guard on the train and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, jerking off and shit. And then you got Yoshiki, like, so what's up with it? Boom! I mean, so I fuck my nigga Yoshiki, dog. That, that's my boy right now. Um, I wonder how he gonna catch his fade though. Who gonna fade this nigga? I don't know. I don't know. My nigga been fading this shit out of these niggas the last couple episodes. So I'm looking forward to that. He got my nigga Tenere in a ten thousand year prison. Wow! One shot at this nigga. Whoop Gara's ass and then left. So I'm looking forward with uh, what's gonna happen with your shiki. As of now, just I'm happy they're kind of fast facing the tuning exam stuff out of the way. Get all that shit out the way. Naruto didn't seem satisfied or even smile when Burrito won. So I'm guessing he probably sitting there like that nigga ain't do that shit. Which is good. He's not stupid. And you got the uh people saying, yo, Burrito, yeah, he used that shit cuz yeah, he used it. And all that extra bullshit. We already know if you already if you watch the, the manga and you seen the dude talking, um, to the big ass chin scientist dude, I think his nigga name is uh Katasuke or Katasuke, whatever his fucking name is. You read the manga, you know what y'all you know what the fuck going on. So I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna spoil y'all niggas. Just know there's some fuck shit, some fuck shit going on around Burrito. So just stay tuned, stay tuned for the reviews. This episode was alright. You know it's pretty good. Animation, coloring is great as usual. My nigga Miski about to put hands on niggas. And by the way, Chocho, you about to get fucked. This is Majestic.
See the melanin melting, receding off her face Do I leave her alone or do I try to confront her? Love to twist the game and every time you push the grain You risk the sardiness of pain of her saying that she no longer wants you It's a hobby, but hobby turns to a habit And habit becomes addiction, can tell you have been on it all From my proof is that you've been missing, not physical but the mental And slower conversations, can stand it with all my patience I'll test it with this invasion and hell and we will never I want us to stay together so both of us can be happy for once And so I asked her what that shit do She said it distract me from reality, anxiety, and possibly depression Just you routed me, don't knock it till you try the THC So I figured that it's happiness, is what she truly seeks So in one year's time, are you still dabbing to be happy? Then it's time for my departure, cause I felt in that department Sorry.